what's shake and bacons. Today I wanted to bring you an unboxing of sorts, even though technically this is not a box, of the first Traveler's Notebook I will have ordered from Chic Sparrow. I've never owned a Chic Sparrow Traveler's Notebook. I have owned Foxy Fix, Zenador Unicorns from Simple Heart, uh, Lollipop Dories, and I've owned a Catanetta's Traveler's Notebook. I've never owned a Chic Sparrow Notebook. Now, I mentioned in previous videos that I was on a quest for a mustard yellow traveler's notebook. I love the color mustard yellow. I can't wear it. I have very red undertones in my skin, if you can't tell. Um, but I love the color mustard. I really wanted a mustard colored notebook. I don't want a straight up bright yellow notebook. So I ordered a couple notebooks that I thought would be the right color and they weren't so then I ordered samples and the sample that most closely matched what I wanted was the Chic Sparrow Traveler's Notebook. So I went ahead and I ordered it. I asked them for the truest yellow that they have. So optimistically this will be it. They did ship very quickly even though I ordered around the holidays um, and they were closed for a while to catch up after Black Friday. Uh, so any orders placed after December 8th, they did not process till January. And my order was after December 8th. So, but even, even granted the fact that I ordered knowing that there'd be a wait window, this was still the least amount of time I've had to wait for a traveler's notebook to arrive. So it does not come in a box or anything. It comes in this bubbler. And they do have a little sticker here that says, do not bend, handle with care. And as you can see, this probably was bent at some point and I definitely had this stuffed into my mailbox. So a box that this would have been shipped in would probably have been a nice upgrade, but it is what it is. So um, I did unstick this. I did not look inside. I didn't want to have to try and work through unsticking it while I was filming. So here we go. Ooh, it feels really soft. Okay. So there's a couple things in here. I'm just checking the envelope. All right, so the envelope's empty. So this is what was in the envelope. And I've got my receipt here. I'll put that to the side. We have an important message. We've inspected your items. All the inconsistencies are fully compliant with the very nature of full grain leather. Your items may have impressions that occur during the stitching process. Uh, warmly, Jennifer Harvey Chic Sparrow. Oh, and she included a couple really cute stickers in with this message, so that's really nice. There's a pretty feather, which is their logo, I think, and then there's a nice wreath to kind of hearken to uh, the holidays that recently passed. So I'm going to put that aside. What I really care about is the notebook, and this is a very soft material. It does not look soft on camera. This is actually quite soft by itself. I thought it was velvet or cashmere when I felt it when I was pulling it out of the, the bubbler. So I'm going to go ahead and open it up. And it's just, oh, okay. I was going to talk about the fact that this doesn't have a drawstring, but I spotted it. Oh my God, it's the exact color I wanted. <laughs> oh my God. It's softer than I thought it would be. Uh, so I did not think, first of all, that I would like a shinier leather. It's way less shiny in person than it is on camera. And it looks like it's more yellow in person than it is on camera. This is the color mustard yellow that I wanted. Look at those cute pockets. Uh, finished part of the leather. This is smoother than it looks. I do wish this was a suede soft material like what the Foxy Fix notebooks have. Um, but you can't have everything. What was really important to me was this color. And then I've got a nice large pen loop. I think this is going to fit my pen with no issues. And I'm going to grab my pen real quick so I can give it a test. I use the Pentel Energel Deluxe and I use a 0.5 millimeter. So this thing, because it has this anti-slip grip, can be very difficult to fit in pen loops. So I'm, oh my gosh, look at that. It fits perfectly. Oh, that's wonderful. Oh my God, that's amazing. Um, wow, um, I'm pleased with the elastics. They're not too thick, they're not too small. Sometimes elastics are too thin and sometimes they're way too big. These are like the perfect size. This is just really nice. And on the back, you've got the Chic Sparrow embossing. I did not order any kind of embossing. I don't really like um, names or words embossed on my TN, so I usually order them. Unless there's a symbol option, I do not order them with any kind of embossing. So this is my Chic Sparrow in Narrow 
the Pemberley leather and I ordered the Daisy and it is a beautiful golden mustard color it's super soft I can't stop feeling it um, it's incredibly soft I like the choice of the white elastics I mean this is probably the color I would have chosen on my own with the white stitching the only other color I would think that I would like with this notebook is maybe maybe a mint like my shirt or my nails um, that or a very pretty deep ocean blue would be nice but I, I really like the yellow it's very vibrant and fun and sunny and if I open it up and I lay it flat you can see the full size of the leather itself and it's quite thick too and I like a thicker leather um, I like feeling that chunkiness when I hold it the edges are nicely burnished and finished and I really appreciate that you know there's been a lot of attention to detail here you can see the edging um, was definitely edited and uh, taken care of to present a high quality finished product so I am stoked with this it looks like they sent me a very smooth grained leather which surprises me but I don't mind it I think this is very pretty it looks like it's got a mark from the stitching process but this is a absolutely beautiful leather this is a beautiful notebook finally my quest for a mustard colored TN is finished this is absolutely beautiful I'm so pleased with this um, I can't wait to use it I don't think I'm gonna use it this winter just because it's yellow does not feel like such a wintry color to me um, and I like but I mean it depends on my mood I like to swap mine out seasonally I like to swap them out um, depending on my mood what I feel like that day a lot of women buy travelers notebooks and they swap them out based on um, like oh it's time for a new year or a new month so I'm gonna set up a new notebook I keep my planning very simple I don't use I use maybe max four or five inserts and they're all notebooks I don't have dashboards or vellums or you know stickers or a lot of decorations so it's very easy for me much like a purse to quickly swap stuff in and out of mine depending on my mood or um, which one I want to use that day or that week or that month so this is amazing and I can smell it from here forgive me I just had to do a sniff test it doesn't smell overwhelmingly like dye nor does it smell overwhelmingly like leather it just smells like a quality crafted piece of of leather which is what it is so I'm super pleased with this if you were curious about the Pemberley Daisy this is what it looks like I'll try and center it on the screen my quest my long quest is at last over and I can't wait to to start using this guy here. So I hope you guys are having a wonderful winter. I hope you are having um, a wonderful season and happy 2018. And I will talk to you later. Bye.